Hi, I'm Mark from LM Small Engine. Today we're going to be putting this Briggs and Stratton six horsepower motor on this nice MTD push more frame. Uh, this motor here is a, one of the power more motors. It's it's blowed up. It's not working. It just burns more oil than it does gas. So and this frame is in really good shape. I just hate throwing something like this away. So we're just going to put this motor on here. So hope you enjoy the video. Okay, before we lift it up and take the motor out we're gonna loosen up that little hook for the rope then you unhook your flywheel brake cable but this one's missing the flywheel brake cable so don't worry about that we always gotta unhook that stuff first i'll go ahead and take the blade off then we'll unbolt the three bolts to the motor and when you're switching switching motors always make sure that the diameter of the PTO shaft and the links are the same because these decks are designed where the blades are into the height so it has maximum vacuum or mulching whatever the deck is designed to do so I'll go ahead and pop that blade off and that's a 5 8 on the MTDs and that hub is stuck on there so let's go ahead and Pop that out. That's not even the right hub. That's a, it's a different kind of a hub because the MTDs have that like star thing in the center. And this just has the two ends out and they're all smashed because they don't even line up with the holes there. So we're going to have to get a regular MTD blade hub on there. See if we can't get that pulled off. Get that bolt put in there. Always, you don't want to ruin the threads. If you have it too far out, it kind of wobbles around. That's centered up like about a three quarter, I think, on that puller. It's starting to come off. I'm just loosen that. Bolt a little bit more. There you go. That's like an AYP hub or something like that. It's not even. It's not even for this blade because the holes don't even line up. That was kind of dangerous. All right, but now we can go ahead and take them three bolts out. Pretty much all these pushbar motors are either, the bolt patterns are all the same. These here is a half inch self tapping bolts. And the last one kind of hold your motor, so don't go ro rolling out of there. And there we go. I'm gonna save a few parts off that motor, like the carburetor and the tank, because you know we use them on something else. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean that top of that off, and just get on one of your switching motors or taking your motor off. Just make sure there's no cracks. Or tears where the bolts are because sometimes you bend your pto shaft the more just vibrate like crazy and they can break these out so if that, if that happens the best thing to do is just to toss it not just hate throwing stuff like this away when you can repurpose it with a good used motor off of something else helps the environment out and everything but let me get that cleaned up and we'll install this briggs on there okay i'm gonna put a block under the front end to lift it up a little bit so i can Start the first bolt. Get that one start a little bit, then we can go ahead and flip it up. Don't want to tighten that one all the way yet until we get the other ones lined up and stuff. Okay. Now I need to find a hub to fit that blade. Be right back. See, here's a MTD hub. Has that star in the center. I don't know why they had that hub on there. That's totally the wrong hub they had on there. Maybe they hit something and broke it off and found this somewhere else. But this is what you want on there. Has a, a pre-made keyway in there. Pop it in there. I'm going to go ahead and sharpen this blade here real quick before I put it on. Okay, put a nice edge on there again, just like a brand new blade. If your wing tips are getting wore out, uh, you know, replace them and stuff. Uh, we'll go ahead and put it on there. Wings always up. I'm 
And that's a 5 8, so I'll grab the 5 8 too. All right, now we can lower it down and hook up the flywheel brake cable and the pull rope bracket back on there and see if we can get this thing back to life again. Here, yeah, I got a new flywheel brake cable over here. We'll put it on first because it's going to be hard pulling that rope unless that brake is released off the flywheel. Let's go ahead and pop her into place. Make sure it's working good. Okay. And on these motors, I have, oh shoot, I have just hundreds of these motors that I saved off stuff and I always drain the gas and everything out of them. You never know how long they'll be sitting on the shelf. So hopefully, I just have to put gas in this thing and they'll start up. But now I can squeeze the brake cable and hook this rope back up here. Okay. Now I can take it off the table and I'll put some fuel in there and see what happens. Okay, let's grab the gas can. Let's pull a little bit in there. Push the primer bulb. It says three times. Well, there you go. Saved another lawnmower out of the landfill. Anyways, I like, you know, I like recycling stuff. You know, that probably just end up giving this to somebody that really needs it. So anyways, appreciate you watching the video. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please subscribe. Anyways, have a good afternoon. Bye.